made it to Nagasaki, the beautiful harbour city on the northwest of Kyushu. Nagasaki is only a small city, around about 400,000 people, but it has some huge historical significance. But before we get into that, we've got to check into our hotel. We're staying at the Café and Petite Hostel route. It's just up the hill a little bit from the main JR railway station and is quite close to the centre of town. The family room at the hostel is in the basement, but we make up for the lack of view with the size of the room. It's a really decent size for a Japanese hotel or hostel and we've been provided with complimentary coffee and it was outstanding. We arrived from Kurokawa on some quite late in the afternoon, so we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing before going out and getting some dinner. Good evening, this is Nagasaki and this is Spectacles Bridge yes, spe in Nagasaki. In Nagasaki, so called Spectacles Bridge because do they look like glasses behind us Georgie? I think yeah, they I thought they, I actually thought they looked like eyes. Mum asked me what they look like and I said eyes but they're, they're meant to be glasses. They are and there's a whole string of these bridges along here, that's the only one that looks like spectacles and they're all built in around about the 17th century so they're quite old. Although a few of them were destroyed a few years ago in a big flood and they've been re rebuilt with... Really? Dad, just... you didn't talk about the fight! Oh! What fight? They mean the war. Oh, okay. They the war in Nagasaki. Oh, right. Yes, and tomorrow we'll probably go up to the Peace Park and look at the um, bomb memorial. About the bomb memorial, whatever Dad said. <laughs> because there was a giant war in Nagasaki, if you didn't know. You can look it up right now so you know what I'm talking about. The link is in the description down below. That's right, it certainly is. Yes, so tomorrow we'll go have a look at Peace Park and the Atomic Bomb Memorial. But at the moment, we're just down here on the river enjoying the late evening and the Spectacle Bridge, which is just out there. They have these little vans driving around everywhere, like everywhere, country towns, and they just go on and on and on. And there's usually a couple of people in the van and they wave to everyone as they go past. But it's all uh, to do with the upcoming election by the sound of it. Which, coincidentally, there's one coming up in Australia, I'm so glad I'm missing it. I'd rather listen to Japanese election material than Australian election material. Just gone for a, we've just gone for a set with a whole bunch of things in here. It's got sashimi, it's a local specialty, it's some sort of custard, hot custard. Oh, you look at Brandy's. It comes on a, um, on a shinkansen. Oh, he comes in custard now. The lady's bringing the custard now. Yosu's local specialty. 
is a, a custard dish, a, a savoury custard dish, so we'll have to get stuck into it any second now. And Brandy's got his sausage. Yummy sausage that actually came like this. <laughs> Brandy's got his sausage, so he's happy as Larry. here at NGS Coffee and uh, it's very good now to go somewhere else and have Kids under five or six, it's free anyway, so it's only 1250 yen for the three of us. Four of us, really. And this is our tram.
its shape as a result of the explosion to the fires caused by the atomic bombing. This arch behind me is part of the Urukami Cathedral or church that was about 500 metres from this spot. This is the hypercentre of where the bomb went off, 500 metres above us. But the church was 500 metres away and this is basically what's left of it. And they've moved it to this point as a, a memorial. So the Urukami Cathedral is one of the oldest and largest of um, Christian cathedrals or churches in Asia. After Christianity was made legal in the 1870s, they started building this church. And then on that day in August of 1945, it was destroyed along with 70,000 people. Essentially, everyone within a kilometre of this point died. I don't think there was any survivors from within a kilometre of the hypercentre. here in Nagasaki and after a emotionally draining and a heat draining afternoon or morning we've come back to our coffee shop to get a couple of iced lattes. We've also been to Family Mart and had fried chicken and sandwiches and George is having chickens or chicken skewers and Brandy's just eating lollies. I had chicken on a stick but I've ate it all because I'm really hungry. <laughs> you did right. Very dark, icy. Very good. Very, very good. Evil war toys found in a gotcha pond by Granny, but he loves it. But look! There's a cute cat under the turret. Good end. Up, up, up. a little bit later, but yes, the Fukusaya Costello Cake Shop. Very nice. This is the Dutch Slope, which is um, houses. <laughs> 
all the western houses that were built here after the 1850s to house it's all the amazing. foreigners. not. <laughs> Yeah, it's called the Dutch Slope because uh, to the Japanese back then, all the Westerners were Dutch because most of the people living here at the time were Dutch sailors. Um, but now it's a whole bunch of Western style homes. So yeah, that was the Dutch houses on the Dutch Slope here in uh, Nagasaki. And it's late in the day anyway and most of it's closed, which is probably the real reason we're not going to go in and see it all. And um, yeah, here are some rock walls. Lovely. Next we'll try and head to the Glover Gardens because it's a moving walkway to the top so it'll be a little bit easier to get there. We've probably just missed the closing time for the gardens just because we stopped for this um, beautiful cake. So we've bought a couple of little cakes down there somewhere because they're all sweet and moist and delicious. I swear we're not going to make it to these Glover Gardens uh, because we've stopped for pudding this time. Pudding Georgia, we've stopped and for pudding. And also an ice cocoa. Brandon will show it to Georgia. Dad, give me my Georgia back. <laughs> give me my Georgia yeah. back. So we've stopped for a ice cocoa oh. with Georgia flavoured. Did Dad tell you and we also stopped pudding. for like these cake things? Yeah, we stopped for cakes. Yeah. And now we're going to share this pudding. No, we're going to go up to the We're going to go up, well, we're going to go up to the gardens and then share the pudding. So we made it to the Glover Gardens just on 6 o'clock and we were able to buy tickets to come in. There is a really good view of Nagasaki from up here so we'll show that in a minute but it's got a moving walkway up to the top. Thank God it. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God because I am pretty tired. My legs are aching and I'm looking that way like every second because we're getting close to the top. That's right we're getting close to the top and then we just walk down. Daddy, hear the music, it's like... Yeah. It is, it's Irish or Scottish music. It's folk music. This is from the balcony of the house at the top of the hill, the Glover Gardens, and this is Nagasaki. What a beautiful city. Reminds me of um, Sydney Harbour. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful. I think I've said that three times now. Awesome. Terrific. Fabulous. Fantastic. Um, I'm running out of adjectives. Beautiful. Nagasaki. Quite a fascinating history of the Glovers and the Walkers and other um, Westerners that came to Nagasaki in the late 1800s. They set up things like soft drink business, like uh, ginger ale and stuff, and also uh, shipping companies and things like that. And many of them stayed here until their deaths. In like Robert Walker, for example, in 1850, no, sorry, 1958. So they were here from the late 18th century to the middle of the 20th. Now this is Giacomo Puccini, and what has Giacomo Puccini got to do with Nagasaki? Well, Madame Butterfly is set in Nagasaki. You can actually see a butterfly moulded onto his, his shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, and this was a gift from the city of... What Dad's looking at right now, he's not staring at grass, he's actually <laughs> staring at a sign that says all about it. Yeah, it's from the, uh, the people of Lucca in uh, the Tuscany region it, it, of um, Italy, where... Ah! I think Petrini's from there, actually. We've yeah. been there. And they yeah. played a lot of operas and yeah. stuff in the streets. It was really? very nice. So really? yeah, if you're ever in Italy, go to Luca. It's one of the um, I under, you... underrated towns of Why didn't Tuscany. you ever tell me you've been to Italy? Oh, well, you've been to Italy. You went to Vienna, Dad? Venice. Dad? Yeah. Dad? Yes? Um, do we have any food? Uh-huh, we'll get some in a minute. We're going for dinner in a minute. Well, because there's a sign saying no food allowed. Okay. So, um, 
uh, friendship and peace. From the Italian province. Yeah, so the, uh, where was I? Really distracted You're by these like children. Who donated it? Yeah, so this uh, statue was donated by the people of Luca in Tuscany as a token of friendship and peace to the people of Nagasaki. So there you go. This is the statue of Tamaki. Mira. I'm on my shoe! Hey, Brandon, come here. Brandon! It's gonna be a bad Tamaki Miura. Okay. This is the statue of Tamaki Mira. She was an opera singer. If you didn't already know, I didn't know that either. Dad just telling me over and over again. Well, Brandon, well, I'll, we'll show you some shots that Dad did take of Brandon. Um, pulling me, fiddling with me. So <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you a little later. Do Gangnam Style. Do Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. If you don't know what that is, it's Gangnam Style. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a dance spread of move out of the spotlight. I want some spotlight too. You are not allowed in. So that was the Glover House and the Gardens. You said oh. you would tell me when you're going to do another <laughs> video so I can be in it. Okay, it was Glover House and Gardens. No, okay. You tell us. So, hey, Dad! What's up? <sighs> Good day. You an idiot! <laughs> Yo, you're gonna yeah. be. So we just went to the Glover Gardens in Nagasaki. It was actually pretty beautiful. Dad got to show lots of awesome videos and its name starts with a T. <laughs> excited to be here. Why are you excited to be here, Georgie? This is Yakitori. It has like beef on a stick, chicken on a stick, pork on a stick. Sorry if you're kind of annoyed about Brandon, his <laughs> Brandon's gonna have a pork one. Can we all have one piece and pass it around the table? No! This is one of the chicken chicken skin. <laughs> Mm. I just want to try it, so if I like it, we can order another one. That is worth the price of admission. This is pork. Pork belly. Very nice. This one is pork belly with miso. That's it. We've got about another 36 coming. Hopefully. 
Not awful. Not awful. Too many to choose from, but it was really, really good. So, if you get Nagasaki. Brandy's was all of them. Georgia even tried the hats. Um, it was all pretty good. So, if you get Nagasaki, come to Torimasa. Really good yakitori. Really good. Actually, about 100 to 200 yen each. So, it's not hugely expensive, but we haven't been, had the final bill yet. Anyway, that'll be it from here at Torimasa in Nagasaki. Thank you.